y'all so today we are doing a closure wig tutorial um how i make my wig so i'm using a what is this like a net mesh um it's not like a it's not a mesh cap but it's the cap with the adjustable bands you can get this at the beauty spa store three dollars um and basically i'm just showing you where i'm going to be laying the tracks on top of those um, bands you don't want to sew on those bands because you won't be able to adjust the cap at the end so you want to start when you start sewing you'll see when i start sewing but you want to definitely be on top of those bands so we're gonna lay the closure down first because the first thing that you need to do um when you're laying your closure down you want to center it this is just a, a part only closure so it's not a full lace closure um you want to put your tp pins on each side i like to put one in the back as well and then pull the yep you want to pull that opposite side so you want to um, put one tp pin on one side and then pull the other side and then put another pin down on it you want to stretch the closure out as much as possible because you will have lumps and you will have bumps and you don't want none of that going on so you want to stretch the front you want to stretch the sides and put caps on the sides so that the, you make sure that the closure is completely down flat um and then once we start sewing we want to start on one side so either the left or the right side whatever side you choose you want to sew that side down first and then um you go to the opposite side and sew that side down so right now i'm just putting the hair up and clipping it out my way and then i'm going to begin sewing on i believe the right side first but it doesn't matter you could do the right or the left side um it is so important y'all like when i tell y'all it's so important do not go on that side right here and then go around to the to the back and then to the other side no because your closure will be lumped up you want to sew both sides down first both sides down first okay so um i'm just gonna sew my closure down you're gonna see me sew this side then the other side and then um i'll be back when i need to say something else <laughs> but it's pretty much self-explanatory from then but you can just kind of watch and see what i'm gonna be doing here is um very crucial when you get to the back of the closure and you get ready to sew this down that you pull the other side like it's gonna get lumpy kind of on its own so you want to make sure you flatten that other side by pulling it as you're sewing so you want to pull it so like i'm pulling it to the right side so that when i sew it down is no lumps and it's completely flat down so we're getting ready to put our first bundle in this is a 24 inch um Remember how I was telling y'all in the beginning, you want to make sure you go above those pull, little pulley things in the back. That's very important. And if you do have a wig that has a like a thick band on the outside, say for instance, you use like a mesh cap or a dome cap, and it has that, that elastic band on the outside, you want to sew either on top of that band, but there's a way to do it um, where you're not sewing into the elastic part, or you want to sew right above the elastic band. So you can sew on top of it, but... You want to make sure you 
don't sew into the band because if you sew into the band part your wig will not have no stretch to it at all and when you put it on your head it's gonna be too small so just make sure you're mindful of the edges and the ridges when you get to those parts that have bands on the outside of the caps if that makes sense i know that's kind of hard to explain but yeah girl stay off the bands just go on top of them if, if you don't know how to sew through them without sewing through the elastic just stay on top of them and when you start sewing your bundles in i like to sew from ear to ear and um through the back just keep going across 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 and then once you get past the ears you just want to go from like temple to temple um and then you just you literally just sewing back and forth side to side side to side side to side just making sure that you're you're even and you're level from the left to the right side and then you just repeat that with every bundle until you get to the top of the closure um and then i'll tell you what to do from the top i am um did i cut this yeah i don't think i cut this track but i am going to be cutting the tracks in this um in this particular wig because it's from it was for myself but um otherwise you can just fold them over and when you fold the tracks over you just want to put a couple extra stitches on the end parts of the tracks so that they're laying flat but um i did cut them because it was it was for me but usually if i'm doing it for a client i definitely don't want to cut their hair so i do leave it on but um yeah i did cut the tracks if y'all was wondering for the purpose of this video
um everybody has their way of doing the top of the wig once i get like closer to the closure where the tracks is going to be right underneath it i don't really like to connect the closure with the track but that's just me personally i know some people will say um sew into the bottom of the closure but i don't feel like you necessarily have to do that if you go right under it just make sure you don't have any gaps in between the closure and the first track then you should be fine um and sometimes i feel like if you sew into the closure and if you kind of pull it over a little bit too much it can create kind of like a lump there so just like to avoid that to make it all flat i just like to sew right underneath the closure I do have a video that, up, that I uploaded before this with the crimps. Um, but this is how I made my make my closure wigs, y'all. It's very simple. I actually had a video of me straightening the hair out, I think, but I lost it somehow, some way. So I just um, uploaded this little clip here, and this is pretty much all I got. But yeah, this is the end of the video, y'all. It's real easy. Like, you just sew sides to side. That's it. Y'all see how I did it? Like, it's nothing to it but to do it. Um, Pluck that part, flat iron that, put that thing down on there, and you good to go. So, thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm still new to this editing stuff, y'all, but uh, if y'all keep rocking with me, you know, we gonna keep, we gonna keep doing it. But look at the waves. Oh, she cute in a body wave. I actually left her. I think I might have left her body waves. If I can insert, like, a little clip of me with it on, I will, but, because I put it on for my birthday. But, yeah, she cute. Close your wig tutorial. Thank y'all. Subscribe. Appreciate it.